Good. I do have um, the Planometrics and AutoCAD if we want to look at it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Can you see that? So the Planometrics uh, yeah. from Rock Planometrics. So this is in Civil 3D. Um, so so everyone, it, for everyone, what's Civil 3D? Why people use it? Uh, this is the most common surveying and civil engineering uh, version of AutoCAD. There's lots of different versions of AutoCAD. This one is better for building roads and doing survey databases and that kind of thing um, and importing drone data. So I imported the image. You can see the background is like, a, I think it's Bing or Google Images in AutoCAD. But this is the image you created. I imported it with just one simple command. I won't run the whole thing again with map insert. And I just added it right there. And then to open this, it's already a DWG, which is a normal AutoCAD file. So I just opened it. And so all the stuff's already in here. And I could easily block this in to my layers or whatever I needed to do. And I can go in and you know edit each one if I wanted to. Of course, these are already done. But I can see everything on the ortho or not. I can turn you know, on and off layers if I want to see what it actually looks like under there. And then turn them back on and make sure everything's lined up. So this is in the normal workflow, which you might see. Um, this is what I was doing before I, I worked here. I'd bring in these images and, you know, try to reconstruct this myself. And I can just tell you, it's a much better experience to not have to do it yourself. Yeah. Um, this kind of stuff is, you can see like each one of these paint stripes, you think about how real life is. It's not the same as design. So each one of these is a little bit different um, in length. And so they all take a little bit, a uh, little while to get done, but it's super easy to use in the software you already have. And I really like that. She got the top corner. So I, I was looking around and I saw a little area, top right corner in the parking mm -hmm. lot there. I was like, man, someone screwed up. You see those two lanes right there? Yeah. Uh, yeah. But actually, uh, there's like a little, it looks like they cut out some of the, mm -hmm. they obviously did some work there where they came in and cut that out. Yeah, yeah you can see the seam right here. The seam right there. So they probably, you know, did some, another pipe under the ground or, or something mm -hmm. was there. You can um, even, they've even got marker. I mean, they, they might still be working on it. So yeah. that's the, the thing about even if you like if you're doing an Alta on a site, let's say sometimes I've got hired to do Altas on uh, Alta surveys on a site that I'd already done an Alta on. And you just call it an Alta update. Well, you can't assume the site's the same. Like yeah. and a drone is a great way to do that. So I preliminarily, of course, I did this on all the surveys, but especially on these, I'd get out there and fly the drone, take the image and put it in my old survey file. And then whatever was different, if I saw it was significant, then I'd be like, oh, I got to get planometrics.